Hello again from Bear River. We're at the upriver from the day use. And uh, this is the part that was completely dry. But they dropped it to 80 instead of 30. So that extra 50, which is more than double, almost triple what it was before. But who knows what they'll do next. But we are into April. And even in a critically dry year, I think it has to be at least 40, hopefully 50. But like I said, when Rollins was first put up, they said 75. So that's how things change over time with uh, the giving in to the corporate interests when it comes to water. And this was uh, flowing from this bush to us. All this was uh, part of uh, underwater stuff yesterday, as recently as yesterday. There was water throughout here. And it's interesting because uh, this is the riparian recovery. The vegetation all through here has taken root. And the the miners can't dig it up fast enough to stop it. It's kind of like the, the hole diggers and the, the living plants are in competition. And right now the plants are winning. Most of the people digging have been on this other side over here. And uh, that's pretty much bare over there. And it's a pretty high gravel bar, so maybe they'll be happy over there. Um, this is getting harder to dig because of the willows and their roots and everything. So hopefully, and it's all rock. These amazing plants coming back in a rock and gravel bar. Something to be proud of, really. Don't know exactly what that little guy is, but it's got it's a cool little plant. So that's the story here at Bear River with the fluctuating flows through the roof and into the cellar. So what we want is to get them on some sort of uh, commitment to functional flows. That's our next step for our Bear River. Oh, Matakbiasen. Let's all pray for that outcome.